welcome to your first aid session. So today we're going to be talking through the complications of CPR. But the first thing I'd like to mention is something you may have heard on previous videos. But the UK Rhesus Council have released new guidelines stating that during the current climate and due to the heightened risk of the coronavirus, we should no longer be performing mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilations on an unknown patient. We should just be doing chest compressions only to keep ourselves as safe as possible. Another complication of CPR is a patient vomiting, which is quite normal during cardiac arrest for vomit to ooze from the mouth. If this is the case, we need to stop CPR, bring the head to one side, which is called postural drainage, let the vomit flow out and then back into central alignment and continue CPR. Another complication is pregnancy. So in the late stages of pregnancy, when the baby is quite heavy and quite big, you are advised not to sleep on your back because the weight of the baby actually squashes the vessel which returns the blood back to mum's heart to be pumped around mum's body and to baby. So this restricts circulation. If you are then doing CPR, you are then pushing down further onto that vessel and limiting circulation once again. So you are advised to put your patient in the left lateral tilt position, which is tipping your patient onto their left side slightly. So you can put coats, blankets, a cushion, or your knees, and then you can do compressions over the top. This will restrict and limit the pressure through that important vessel. Another complication is something that's talked about quite a lot, which is broken ribs. It's quite normal during CPR for ribs to be broken, and it's the least of the patient's worries. So if you do feel them break or you hear them break, just continue with your CPR and you are doing an amazing job. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you soon.